All right, for our next segment, um, since I play Pokemon uh, pretty competitively, I breed Pokemon, um, I thought I'd give a few uh, opinions on what I think is going to be either interesting or viable in OU or maybe UU this, this generation. Um, this is the one that I probably want to be the most, and I think it's probably there, is Golosopod. Um, bug water, um, decent move pool. You get first impression, 90 base attack. Can only use the move it comes out. Um, its ability is kind of unique. Emergency exit. It's kind of like a eject button built into it. When it hits 58% HP, it switches out and it works once per battle. So, I mean, it's, it's an interesting one. There's some set of potential. Basically, it's kind of like a reverse U-turn. So, I, I definitely can see it playing out but what i'm running is first impression um liquidation pretty powerful water move both physical uh sucker punch for the priority and uh last one i forget but uh yeah it's doing pretty well for me i haven't lost with it yet it's usually you know pulls its own weight too so Definitely worth checking out. Um, it's got 125 base attack, 140 base defense. So I run it with Assault Vest to kind of level out that special defense. And it, it plays well. It's Again, it's not super fast like anything in this generation. But um, definitely, you know, something of interest that I really do hope ends up, you know, doing well. But yeah, again, 530 stat pool is not bad for a new Pokemon. Um, the next one I think is worth looking at is Salazzle. Um, basically because of this ability, Corrosion. It's base ability. Um, basically, it can toxic any Pokemon. It can toxic a Steel type. It can toxic a Poison type. There are some exceptions, but uh, yeah, if it's Steel or Poison, so throw out like a Metagross, for example, you can toxic it. So it could cripple quite a few threats. Um, I run Toxic. Um... Uh, Fire Blast. Um, what's it called? Uh, Gunk Shot. And Substitute. So I do a Subtoxic except for this one. Um, it's Stat Pool. It's not amazing, but it's got a decent 117 speed. Decent Special Attack. So, I, I mean, it, I think it's going to be usable. Um... I've been using either Leftovers or Life Orb on it. Both do fairly well. Um, I think Life Orb is what I'm going to end up doing, but Leftovers is also very, very good. Um, this one, probably the most obvious new one, is Toxapex. Um, basically, what you need to know right here is Regenerator, right? So, so if it switches out and you put it back in, it gets thirty. It gets a third of its HP back. The switch. Um, it has its own unique move called Baneful Bunker, which is basically protect that poisons, but I'm not even really using it. I use Toxic instead. Um, so I run Toxic, um, Scald, um, Haze to clear the field status, or, you know, buffs. And... Um, I mean, that's basically all you need. The last move is not too important, but, uh, let's, oh, and recover, of course. Yeah, it is important. So, yeah, you get regenerator and recover, right, on one Pokemon, and you're looking at 152 base defense, 142 base special defense. So, you throw in some HP EVs, you round out your defenses, and then you could throw Black Sludge on it because it's poison water. This thing's a monster. Very, very, very hard to kill. Definitely going to see some play. Um, next one, I'm liking Mimikyu a lot. It's Ability Disguise. Once per battle, basically, it, it can take a hit without it making contact. Um, this is not set off by Sandstorm or, any, or any kind of, anything like that. Spikes, the Stealth Rock doesn't set it off. So what I've been running on it is Substitute, Swords Dance, Play Rough, and Ghost Claw. So you basically can get... If you can force a switch, you can basically get two free 
sword stance is off. And and then, you know, it's you throw in some strength EVs and some speed. I've run a jolly too. Um, and you got good, decent attack, decent speed. This thing can actually sweep. So that was definitely a surprise. I didn't expect this thing to be good, and it is. Um, the one that I haven't used yet, but I intend to, is the uh, Araquanid. Um, it's got water absorb, another water bug, which is why I haven't used it. Cause I'm using Glossopod at the moment. Um, pretty good move pool. Um, I'd probably end up doing U-turn on it. But what's interesting here is 132 base special defense. You know, the speed, of course, horrible this generation, but at 92 defense is nothing to, you know, take lightly. So th th this could see some play. I'm thinking about using it for a U-turn, but we'll see. Um, Beware is another one. So it has this new move, well, first, normal fighting. Um, it has a new move called Fluffy. Um, basically, anything that makes direct contact with it, it is half the damage um except for fire which is doubled so it basically adds a fire weakness but anything physical is halved so that's a pretty impressive ability you pair that with 125 base attack um and 120 base hp th th i think this is also going to see some play i don't know if it's going to end up in uu but um or i don't think it's going to end up in ou but uh at very least uu um, next one is Como O. It's basically the new pseudo legendary dragon, dragon fighting. Um, it's got bullproof or soundproof, uh, or you can do overcrowd with never do overcrowd. But basically, it's a special attacker with a pretty good stat pool 125 defense, 110 attack, 110 special attack, 105 uh, special defense. Overall, 600. I mean, that's you know your, your standard pseudo legendary. Um, and it's got a pretty good special attack move pool, so I think I think we'll end up seeing him at some point. And then you have Silvoli, which is the evolution of Type Null. Basically, this is kind of like a pseudo um, Arceus. Uh, you can add basically any of these types to it, any type to it, and it'll change one of its moves. So, an interesting one, but really, again, the kicker is 570 stat pool. Um, and it's it's balanced too, so you can pretty much do whatever you want with this guy. It's all 95 across the board, so you can basically ta tailor this to whatever you want to do. Um, and then finally, I mean, I don't do too much into legendaries, but you gotta mention Zygarde C complete. This thing is a beast. We have a total of 708 on its stat pool. Definitely the most powerful Pokemon in this generation by far. Got 216 uh, base attack. It, it's basically unbeatable. It's very, very hard to break through that. Um, but yeah, that's about it so far. I'll keep you updated if anything else changes or anything else catches my eye. All right, see you next time.